that may ruffle a lot of feathers. And, you know, some people may want to fight about it. But it's the topic on the 50-50 with a relationship. Me, personally, I feel like you supposed to go 50-50 with your nigga. Because if a nigga just gets you to the point where, like, you just feel like you don't got to do nothing. Like, he going to make you lazy and shit. And as a woman, you should want to have your own shit going. You shouldn't want it to be where if a nigga leave you today, he was paying all the bills and now you got this big ass weight on your shoulders. You shouldn't want that. Like, you should be able to, like, feel like, okay, if you leave, I'm good. If you stay, I'm good. Like, either way, I'm good. Like, and you should want to be a team. Like, the more money y'all make, the more money y'all make, the more shit get done. Like, if he just buying, if he paying for everything, Bitch, don't you want gifts sometimes? Don't you want the nigga to buy you some sometimes? Like, and don't you want to buy something from him? I just feel like it should be 50 50. Like, it's a team effort, especially. And it goes for if you married too. Now, I'm not speaking on, I don't I, I don't know the experience if you have kids or not, because I, I don't know that you, that there might be a different story. But just a relationship, like, you know, married or not, like, we doing this shit together. You a person, I'm a person. We should be doing this shit together. You able, I'm able. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't want nobody to just take full responsibility for everything. Like, you you supposed to be able to stand your own. And, like, you supposed to be able to bring something to the table. Like, I, I, I don't understand y'all with it. Nah, a nigga got to do everything. Like, they, they just, it's fucking your mind up. It's, it's making you lazy. It's making you feel like... One more thing on that topic. If a nigga putting in all the work doing everything i guarantee you a nigga is gonna be fucking off because what what you gonna do what what you what the fuck you gonna do when he leave you bitch like what what the fuck you what now nah, what the fuck you gonna do if he if you find out he cheating but cry because he paying all the bills bitch you don't want your bill pay to leave so how you 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 need to be on your own shit you need to have your own shit going. And a lot of y'all probably gonna say, he pay y'all the bills, I still make my money, da 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 Now you need to be in the habit of paying for your own shit. Because no matter how much you got your own money, all them bills that were getting paid by the nigga, that shit gonna change. It's gonna be a, a whole financial change for you because the shit you was spending freely, you ain't gonna be able to do that no more because now you gotta pay all the bills. And now you can't do what you wanna do no more. It's gonna be like a whole life suite. So that's why I, I just feel like shit should just be at a certain pace, like 50-50, you know what I'm saying? Like... Just like that. Like, y'all 